Hi friends, welcome to Black Smiles 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to talk about min function in W. Let's get started. The min function in W returns the minimum of an expression across all records or the minimum of two expressions per each record. So, as the name suggests, min function returns the minimum value of all the records available in your data set. And the example is right below. Min of column name, which is nothing but you would be, you'll be providing the column for which you want to get the minimum value. For example, if I want to get the minimum value for sales, I will be passing sales dimension within the minimum function. And if I want to get the minimum of uh, profit and I will be passing the min of profit within the minimum function. Let me open W desktop application and show you how to use min function in W. I have opened W desktop application and I have taken sample superstore data and I have created a new sheet and renamed it as min function in W. And right below the data source there is a drop down drop down option available i am i have clicked on it and uh, the option is available called create calculated field i am clicking on that to create calculated field because we will be able to use the functions within calculated fields only and we ha and we have um, all the functions displayed over here and i am going to select string function because min is a string function so we have all the string functions listed over here and it is uh, clearly visible so you will be able to search the function required for you within the search bar available right below the string function option or else you can scroll down and uh, search for the operation required for you so here we have min function i have clicked on it and this is syntax available as soon as i click on that i'll be able to see the um, uh, there's a, a, a right besides the functions. I'll be able to see the syntax, the description uh, along with the example. So the syntax is like this: min of expression. Expression is nothing but um, the string or the value you you will be passing is considered as expression within min function. Or else you can pass a single expression or two expressions to compare among themselves. Returns the here is the description returns the minimum of an expression so the first one returns the minimum of the expression provided across all records are the minimum of two expressions the second one returns the minimum of the two expressions passed within the min function for each record so here uh, in the first first syntax we will be passing only one string or one value here we will be passing two strings or two values to get the minimum of it and the example is like this min of profit let me create a calculated field and show you how to use min function in tab view first of all i am renaming the calculation as min and i am typing min over here as soon as i type min within the calculated field i got this function called min i am clicking on that and within min I am going to pass sales. I have passed sales within the min function. I am clicking on OK. So now let me display the, let me bring this minimum function to text and display it. I am changing the value to discrete because min is already an aggregation operation and it's going to perform aggregation on top of that that's why i've converted it to discrete to display the single value instead of multiple values so this is the minimum sales available so let's see uh, let's bring the sales and check whether we have this value or not i'm going to create a new sheet and i am bringing sales Yeah, I have brought in sales and changing it to dimension because it is a continuous measure. As soon as we bring the sales to row shelf, it will automatically perform summation operation. 
So that's why it's uh, in bar chart and it's in green color because it's continuous and uh, performing aggregation. So I'm changing it to dimension so that we can see the individual values. Now we have individual values available here. So the bottom will be uh, before doing that, I am changing it to discrete as well. So let's see, we have 0 0.44 available over here, which is the least value available within sales. So that's what we got here. We got 0 0.44. Instead of fitting the width, I am changing it to standard so that you will be able to see the value. And I am increasing the size of the text as well so that it's clearly visible. I'm changing it to 16 and clicking on bold okay and now i'll change the width so we have 0 0.44 available over here i am formatting it instead of displaying at the right i'm making it display in the center so now you'll be able to see the value 0 0.44 in the center and it's uh, it's the minimum value available for sales you see here this is the least value recorded in sales dimension so we have a lot more values available but this is the least value that's what we are trying to get using min function as the name suggests min always returns the minimum value within a dimension or the value passed within the min function so now I'll remove everything from the sheet or let me go back to the earlier sheet. Let me duplicate it. Now I will remove this calculation and create one more calculation. Now we just displayed the integer value. Now for example, if I want to, let me, let me frame a scenario. First of all, what I am trying to do is, uh, for example, uh, now I have taken Superstore data and I have lot of customers. So I am bringing the customer name. So for each and every customer, I am going to bring the order test available, order date available. Now I have brought in the order date as well. So let me change the order date to display the exact dates. Since it is uh, automatically performing some uh, continuous operation or aggregation on top of that it is in green color and it's displaying in the form of a bar so what i am going to do now is i am changing the continuous measure to discrete so that the exact values can be displayed over here now each and every date has been displayed instead of uh, performing aggregation operation on top of that so for each and every customer we have three different dates available order dates now I want the first date for which the customer has been ordered. So for this what we can do is we can use the min function to get the first date because it will always give us the minimum date of um, minimum date of for each customer. So usually if we remove the customer we will be getting only one date which is the least date or the first date on which uh, the order has been taken place. So now we have brought in customer as well. We will be getting the minimum date for each and every customer. So I am creating a calculated field. And I am renaming it as min date. Within min function, I am passing order date. So my, um, what to say, my idea behind uh, showing this is, we, um, we can pass different kinds of uh, uh, data types within min function and still get the result this is what i am trying to say with this example so i have passed the order date and i am clicking on ok now i am going to bring the minimum date and placing it in the text mark now you will see each and every value is same because it's ignoring the customer name because we didn't um how to tell you we didn't include it so far this is a separate concept because uh, elvodis should be involved within this to display the minimum date so instead of that i will remove the order date over here and display now let me duplicate the same sheet i have 
I, I didn't do anything. Here, I wanted to display the min, minimum date for each and every customer. So this is what I'm trying to do now. But the same values got displayed because we have already ordered it available uh, on a level of detail. So that's why I am trying to remove this. If you remember, let me duplicate this sheet so that we can compare easily instead of removing it. Now I have duplicated the sheet and removing the order date from the sheet. Now I am creating a dashboard and bringing these two sheets and placing it side by side. Min function and another sheet min function. So if you observe here what is happening we have the customer date and order date and minimum date. Here it's not performing the operation because we have the order date as well. So for each and every order date it is considering the, as the minimum date for that particular order. So I have removed the order date to get the minimum date for each and every customer. So if you see this particular customer Aaron Bergman has three different order dates. But the least date or the first date when he ordered is 18 to 2014. So that's what we got here. You see minimum date is getting displayed over here within this particular sheet. And it is happening on a customer name level. When you include order date, it will consider that particular date as well. And based on that particular record, it will display the minimum date. So for this particular record, this is the only one record. So it will display the date as is. That's why when you are uh, using min function, be very clear on when to use it and how to use it as well. So now for each and every customer, the date is different. For our own Hawkins, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 order dates. But we have only one date displayed over here, which is nothing but 22. 2014 that is the minimum date for this particular customer and the same way Aaron's mailing we have one two three four five six seven records but we got only one record which is nothing but 27 7 2014 so 2014 is the first date or the least date for this particular customer that's why minimum is working perfectly for us and displaying the minimum value within the sheet. So this is how you can use main function in tab view. Thank you guys. Thanks for landing at my channel Lagsmiles31. If you like my video or like my content, please like, share and let me know in the comments what could have been better. And if you have any questions for me, do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.